This was a wonderful film about um, bird conservation off the coast of Australia and Phillips Island, Phillip Island. Beautiful, beautiful landscape, of course. Just looks so untouched, but apparently the rabbits have ravaged the area. Um, I, that was an interesting fact that that could do so much damage to the uh, vegetation and that other vegetation was there, but it wasn't the same. Anyway, it was just really interesting and I thought it was great camera work too. All the different shots and the close-ups of these beautiful birds and the, you know, just all the shots of these birds and the damage that has been done by the presence of these rabbits and the locals have wiped out their rabbits, but it's still not the same vegetation and stuff. I thought that was really cool. Good music. Um, I like that these men, you can just see their passion for what they're doing, helping with these birds and the fact that they are tagging them, which I actually kind of looked it up because I don't like the fact that there's little tags on these birds' little legs. Um, but apparently it's not dangerous if it's done correctly. So, you know, these guys seem like they know what they're doing and they're very passionate about it. Um, so I thought it was really cool. Um, and I like that he said it's about creating something out of nothing and it's like art. It's like being an actor. I just thought that was neat because I never would have thought of it that way. Um, and what these guys go to, the lengths that they go to, um, to help conserve these birds. I just thought it was really great um, and very inform informational. And I liked the end where they kind of, you know, helped sum everything up and put some more informational information in words on the screen. I like that a lot. I like the different shots and the, the, talk, the talking when they were being interviewed and things like that. The placement of everything was really well done and I thought it had a good pace to it. So great job to everyone. All right, I just finished watching um, <clears throat> Petrodra, Petrodrama, I believe. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that um, incorrectly. I believe it has to do with the, um, the bird species. Um, this was a, a bird conservationist um, a piece based in Australia. I thought this was um, a really great piece, mainly because it worked both um, as an educational call to action piece, but it was just um, visually um, beautiful and amazing. And I thought that um, they had a great sense of cinematography that captured the land in a way that had a real sort of ethereal and spiritual feel that I, I tend to enjoy with nature documentaries in general. And I thought that um, they really um, did a great job of showcasing um, the on the ground work that needs to be done and how um, thankless um, this kind of job is. Um, I think in all fields, uh, but uh, especially um, environmentally um, t uh, leaning fields, given um, the construct of the world, um, the capitalist impulses of society, and how they dealt with nature, I think there. Um, this, this piece really showed a lot of those dynamics and how it reflected in how um, people have to really work um, on the ground themselves to sort of uh, implement change and how difficult that is. So I thought the, I thought the piece really worked um, in an informative sense and in just a like enthralling sense when you just get to watch um, all the landscapes and all the birds and uh, just to see um, the ecosystem and how it's um, how it used to be in balance and how that balance has been threatened. So I thought the piece was really strong, um, had a, a great sense of editing that I thought helped um, make the piece easier to take in and um, I just enjoyed it in general because um, it just had a great um, a visual appreciation for the landscape that I thought really worked. So um, I, I ended up liking it. I thought this piece was really interesting, really educational. Um, I got to learn about so many different types of birds that I had never heard of or seen before and learn a bit about the environment there and the ecology um, that is there now and what it once was. Um, we kind of follow this team of researchers, biologists, um, all of that, who have been tracking these birds for years, their um, nesting habits, their mating patterns, their, their movements, all of it. Um, so you could tell that it's truly a, a labor of love, a labor of passion. Um, and we, we get to see like, the positive growth that has happened um, as a result. I really love that last card where they said that there was this um, critically endangered um, species that showed up, which is a really, really good sign that like things are coming back. So um, I really thought this was so fascinating. The birds are so 
freaking cute. Um, and I'm just so happy that, you know, there are people out there that care and are doing this work. So thank you for bringing it to our screens. I really enjoyed this. It starts and it captures your attention with this breathtaking aerial shot. And then the way that they paced this with everything, you go from these beautiful lush visuals to fascinating information in the interviews where I thought that it was really educational. I learned a lot and everything that they were saying, I was like, okay, they were teaching me something, which I thought was really, really cool. I loved what the filmmakers did with their lighting and their color because that was just really, it was so rich and it just kind of drew you in to the film. The music that they chose to complemented each of these breathtaking visuals and it didn't detract from anything like the important information that each of the interviews were saying it didn't detract from it so I think that you guys did a great job Terra Droma fascinating documentary as we watch two scientists living and working in their field of study on an island off the coast of Australia very remote the cinematography was fantastic the beautiful landscape of this island. It looks like they took a piece of the Australian desert hills and plunked it in the ocean. They explained really well the fact that the colonial people of the 1800s coming on boats with animals, rabbits, goats, wore down the vegetation and ate it all. And so the bird species here are trying to survive with what's left and it's slowly coming back after the removal of those such animals that took it in the first place. It's fascinating to see how the meticulous notes and logging of information is taken from tracking the birds. And I just enjoyed getting to know these scientists a little bit and seeing the love they have for their work. Really terrific. It was absolutely fascinating to uh, learn about the wildlife on the other side of the planet for me, as it always is. Um, we're treated to some beautiful imagery here. Um, and also, it's an important message. Uh, you just you really have to admire the uh, the scientists, the ecologists uh, behind this work. And um, this documentary does a great job at just showing us just some of the hard work that uh, goes into tracking and preserving these birds. Uh, so, you know, it's an important message. And this documentary was just a really great uh, sort of cross section between science and nature. I loved it. Proteroma, um, we're given the historical insight into the ecosystem of this island and how it's changed over time, which is always great to get that exposition. Um, and you have these men who are seeking out the seabirds who gravitate to the space. And they're clearly very informed about these various types of rail pretro birds. And we see them um, visiting these birds in this, their environment and interacting and studying with them. Um, there's this beautiful shot of all the birds flying around them as they find this nest, which is clearly elevated. So it almost feels like they're right where the sky starts and you see the wind all around them and the birds taking flight. It was just such a beautiful um, shot there where it just seemed, felt almost as if these men were one with nature. And these men are drawn to these birds and they study their breeding, they're tracking their migration because these birds are crucial to the fertility of the soil and the space, which has been broken down over years of use due to human use and, and the rabbits that came uh, with that human use. And there's a love here and the true passion that you can see through these explorers uh, and these, you know, these these studiers of these birds for gaining more discovery through these birds, and it's 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 very it's always interesting for me to to see the visual re representation of someone's life passion, especially if it's a life passion that I'm not familiar with or have not ever visually experienced, and to kind of see that um, in a documentary style was just very interesting to see.